hi guys welcome to design corner in this video i will show you how to create a hexagonal screw with threads in katia v5 this has already been designed by me for demonstration purpose now let's see how to create it in katia v5 here i am opening katia to create a new part i am clicking start then selecting mechanical design and choosing part design to create a new part I am naming this part X screw here you can see the workbench interface I will start by selecting the XY plane to create a sketch first I choose the X second and set it the dimension to 6 mm once the sketch is complete i exit and add padding to the hexagon with a length of 6 mm uh, next uh, i move to bottom surface to create another sketch this time I use a circle and set it diameter to 6 mm. After finishing the sketch, I exit and apply the padding to the circle with a length of 20 mm. As you can see, 50% of CAD model is now completed. Now we need to create the helix. A helix typically organizes from a specific point. So the first step is to create the point. To do this, I select the YZ plane and start by creating a sketch. I use the point option to define the location of the point. Next, I determine the distance of the point since the diameter of the circle is 6 mm. So I set the X direction to 3 mm. For the distance from the bottom surface to the point in the y direction, I am using 1.5 mm. After existing the sketch, we need to create the helix. So I will use that helix command here. Now you can see the helix pop up. We need to select the starting point, which is the point we created in the previous sketch. Next, select the axis. I am choosing the jet axis. As you can see, the helix is now applied to this object. I will change the direction to reverse. After that, I will set the height to 18.5 mm and the pitch to 0.7 mm. As shown here, now the helix is created. And next, we need to create the profile of the thread. First, I am using the YZ plane to create the thread profile. I will be begin by drawing a continuous line for the profile. It's important to make sure the profile aligns perfectly with the sketch point we created at the start of the helix. To do this, I will use the constraint option to keep everything in inline. I make the profile symmetrical along the center line and add the dimensions. Here I set the dimensions to 0.3 mm to align it with the specific point then I adjust the direction and set another dimension for the point to 0 0.4 mm after that I define the angle for the profile which I set to 45 degree once all the dimensions are fully constrained I exit the sketch I am clicking the slot feature and once the slot definition pop-up appears I select the profile we just created Next, it's asked for the center curve. So I select the curve we created earlier in the helix. After that, I change the profile control option to reference surface. Now you can see the preview of the thread. Once everything looks correct, I click the OK. Now, as you can see, we successfully created the external screw. Next, I will add a chamfer to the top of the external screw. To do this, I am using a plan to create the chamfer on the YZ plane. I will start by creating a sketch and drawing a one-sided triangle to use for the 
grew operation to from the chamfer. I defined the dimensions for the triangle, setting it to a 30 degree angle. Once the dimensions are set, I exit the sketch using the grew option. I select the sketch and then then the axis for the grew operation initially. I provided a slightly large chamber here. So I exit edited to sketch and adjusted the dimensions accordingly. Now as you can see the chamber has been created. This completes the external screw. If you have any questions or needed further clarification, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. If you want to more helpful tutorials, be sure to stay tuned to the channel.